I don't know what's in here. If somebody plays something in here, I get to take it out and show you and tell you something about God from what is in the bag. A number. You didn't even pick a number that really has a great deal of meaning, did you? Simply number four there. We like to count numbers. That's what uh, today probably somebody's going to be counting. Okay, how many people we have? We have more people than we did last, last week. And uh, the Southern Baptist Convention has had a habit for a number of years of something they call an annual church profile. Those of you that have worked on it have the, uh, yeah, the expression in your own head. It's due today. It's due today. <laughs> and we aren't done. And what they tend, they, they, they want to know how churches are doing. And, and I think that's a good thing, to know, know what's happening in churches. But the question they ask actually <laughs> revolves around these things. Numbers, nickels, and noise. What is your attendance? What are your offerings? You know, those sorts of things. And what they really fail, and I, I'm not sure how you, how you get it, but how do, you, how do you report somebody growing in their relationship with the Lord? Deepening their faith. Somebody who once came on Christmas and Easter, but is now coming at least every other week. Somebody who used to come once a month, but now they are leading a Bible study class. How do you report those things? And I'm not sure how we do it. But it's not numbers, nickels, and noise. So realize that sometimes we're a small church. We're probably always going to be a small church. We probably are not going to have a TV program. We probably aren't even going to have a radio program. We aren't going to buy 100 acres and relocate along the interstate highway. Yeah. I'm probably not going to write a book. <laughs> I'm not Rick Warren. And I appreciate those super churches, but we aren't one of them. We aren't going to be a mega church. We are called to grow in our faith and to reach our community, to make a difference where we are. Bloom where you're planted. Mm -hmm. So uh, when you start seeing numbers, don't get so concerned about that. Instead, in your own life, say, Lord, am, am I closer to you now than I was a year ago? And if not, what can I do about it? How can I get closer? What do I need to do? More time in prayer. More time in Bible study. So don't get so concerned about numbers. We're going to continue.